Dylan. Uh, life is pretty epic and cool. And uh, friendship, power, and perseverance. Yeah, dude. That's the way she goes. Fuck yeah. Good shit. My name is Brandon Mack. My name is Matai. My name is Jimmy, aka Butane Baby. <laughs> Butane Baby came to me when I was sitting at my fucking desk job a couple years ago. It's supposed to just be an album name, but it kind of just like resonated with me so hard because I literally am like a fucking pyromaniac, not gonna lie. Uh, I made a song where I talk about uh, setting shit on fire at work and I almost caught an arson charge. That's just actually real life. Like, I love fire. It means so much to me because it's like, it's just like fire fucking is inside of us all. I'm not trying to be all corny on this and shit, but yeah, that's it. I fucking love fire. It's probably a tie between Bully on the PS2 which the thing is I didn't have that as a kid. My my friend friend had it because I wasn't allowed to play it. So it was my favorite to play at his place. My favorite game that I owned as a kid was the Simpsons Hit and Run on the original Xbox. I've beaten it so many times, like it's actually really frustrating too. It's a really fucking hard game. And I'm a huge Simpsons fan, so just being yeah, Simpsons is hit and run. My favorite game right now is Dr. Mario. He's a fucking savage at Dr. Mario. I don't even try to play against him because I know I'll get frustrated. He's good at fire, I'm good at Dr. Mario, but there's this other kid named Derek. Derek is at my level at Dr. Mario, so every time we play, he'll win, I'll win, he'll win, I'll win. We're neck and neck. Neck and neck. Like, their necks are touching each other. It's gotta be Minecraft. Minecraft is a good one, bro. <laughs> I think that's the only game that's, like, withstood the test of time. Oh, definitely. Throughout my entire life, yeah. I still play it. Then you build on it for two weeks, and then you just quit. Oh, yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> That always happens. Motherfucking tryhards come in and destroy the Ender Dragon in like a day or two. That shit is so annoying. Bro. I know. Like, can we just fucking build shit and like be peaceful and loving and shit? Favorite game. I think my favorite game of all time, even though it's a lame ass answer, I fucking love CSGO. I learned a lot of my racism from there. <laughs> it basically taught me how to socialize, which is why I'm so fucked up in the head, I think. But yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. FL Studio. FL Studio is the only thing I've ever used since I was like 12. Uh, well, actually, before that, my first dog was called Mick Superstar on the Wii. And then Audacity, Adobe Audition, because that's what they had at school. And then FL. Uh, what are you my using favorite dog, Logic Pro. Logic, Logic Pro. Boy. <laughs> Fuck Logic, the rapper. No, I'm just playing. Uh, my favorite dog is FL because I think it's like... I mean, I tried to use Ableton for a little bit, but I'm just like a retard, so I, yeah. I use the retard dog, which is FL Studio. Fucking need to do I can do it in FL, it just takes a little bit longer, but FL has my heart forever. It's my first thing I ever use. I'm on this motherfucker's FL account. I don't even pay for that shit. I used to torrent it, but then I needed the update, so I started using his. Front of me, step back, but then I know you know my name, but I wish you to ask me like one. Two. Fuck. Um, I use Ontario's auto-tune constantly it's my favorite thing to set up in the garage just auto-tune fucking karaoke cover my favorite songs so i would say probably vital or on Terra's auto-tune artist tim henson's neural dsp amps him you got on use that for guitar i mean i did use it and then the free trial ran out but that was that's been my favorite <laughs> if you what is it favorite plugin definitely vital like, I love synths so much, and I love making my own synths. Just like, I, I've been using Vital for like a year now, and I've been learning so much, but there's still so much. Like, there's a whole tab at the top that I don't even touch ever. Oh, what's up, Sleepy? Chino? What's good, brother? You, you, you. Teo, Teo, say something hey, for the camera. Hey, what's up to the cam, Mary Mary Jane? Okay, like it. Shout out to Chris Weber. Shout out to The Beam. One day I'm gonna be on the beam, hanging like King Kong, one hand with the yerba mate, one hand with the beatbox. 
I'm gripping it with my legs, you feel me? James Dry Top, Euthanasia. Shout out to these boys. Love these boys very much. Brandon Mack, Butane, baby. Love them. Love Sacramento. Mwah. Uh, kick shit, Butane, baby. Came right, as always. They come correct, always. Go stream them. Like, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> How you know about that shit? God damn it! The Mac Brats. What's that? It's hard to remember that time, but there is a video on my in YouTube. Oh, wow, and the Mac Brats were me, my sister Natalie, and my brother Trevor. Um, and I made that shit on Mix Superstar on the Wii. Yeah. Oh, actually, this is a beautiful story. It's very, like, so beautiful. <laughs> he knows the shit. Was, so I was just eating lunch, you know, eating my little rice food with fucking, like, Chinese shit. They were talking about jerking off and their techniques that they use. I, myself, didn't start jerking off until, like, uh, like middle of high school because I was a late bloomer. And the only reason why I really started jerking off is because I felt left out. This guy's talking about his technique. He, bring, he hears us talking about tech, our techniques, and he's like, I, this is what I do. Like, get the, get the camera on the hand. This is his hand motion. This is what he said. He goes like this. Not anymore. I was 12. I was 12. I tried it, I tried it after. Not even going to lie, I tried it the night, the night of. Didn't work. I, I didn't come. I definitely just, like, pissed all over myself. Now I'm sweating. <laughs> but I didn't really learn how to jerk off the correct way until I was, like, 17, 18. 18? <laughs> like, low-key. Like, I was doing it wrong. God, my mom can't see this. Fucking Christ. But my dream venue, this might be cornball as fuck, but like, you know that fucking big ass ball in Las Vegas with the screens all over it? I wanna do it in there just so I can, it's like, it's hella big and like, it's a fucking epic venue. I love epic shit. Like, it just feels like fucking biblical to be in there. And I wanna have the, all the, the screens on the side just be like on fire. Like, I want it to feel like you're in hell and I want it to be hot inside the room and I want the middle stage to just be on fire. So I want it to be I want it to be like a fire hazard. My dream venue would probably be the Chicago Theater. It's because I grew up in Illinois and that's like the Chicago Theater, you know? So that'd be cool to be like a I made it back around, you know? Like to to tell the tale. I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to say this shit, but anyway, the fact that there are so many beautiful women all around here, it is insane. There's also some really sexy men that's packing no, I'm just... Like wait, Kenny? Main inspiration. It's a very open-ended question. I think you probably did that on purpose. I'm gonna give you two answers. Number one, my number one inspiration to my entire being of life and who I want to be and what I want to embody in this world is my dad. My dad is my biggest inspiration. He, I've always looked up to him. I didn't really get emotional thinking about my dad and the sacrifices that he made for me. So I try to walk in his footsteps and try to carry the torch and go bigger than he was able to, you know, because my dad came from nothing, but he sacrificed everything to be able to give me a start. And I want to just go bigger for my future, you know, for my parents and everything. Or not my parents, my kids, my future generations and shit. What's going on? Um, musically, as far as my own independent music, I took a lot of inspiration from a lot of metalcore bands I listen to. So like Wage War, Very Tomorrow Architects, that kind of scene. Um, as far as like solo guitar, Tim Henson, my favorite guitarist hands down. He's the best in the world now. Fucking die on that hill. I've been trying to get a geek on that. Your biggest inspiration is yourself. That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't want to say some dumbass shit. I was going to say that. I told you to wash my cup and you just disrespected me. Yes, yeah, dude, they can't hear you. The camera can't hear you. They, I'm the only one that can, they can hear. Wait, you said that you left it over there on purpose? <laughs> no. It's unknown. Back. Goodbye. And also, I'm, I, bye, but I'm going to give the microphone back to Brandon. We're literally dropping like 25 songs next year, so. Mm -hmm.